In this experiment, we will study about valve timing diagram of petrol engine. This is a four-stroke single cylinder air-cooled petrol engine. Valve timing diagram is graphical representation of points at which the valves are said to be open or closed as well as the points where the firing of fuel takes place. The four-stroke engine will have four processes. They are suction, compression, expansion and exhaust. This is the cylinder head. It acts as cover to the cylinder bore. Combustion of the fuel takes place between the cylinder head and the top surface of the piston. This is the piston. These are inlet and exhaust valves. The main function of the piston is to transmit the force exerted by the burning charge to the connecting rod. Piston is connected to the crank shaft internally through the connecting rod. This is the flywheel. The main function of the flywheel is to maintain the speed of the engine constant. By rotating the flywheel, we can observe the movement of the piston as well as the inlet and outlet valves. The vertical length travelled by the piston is called the stroke. Now, by rotating the flywheel in the clockwise direction, bring the piston to the top position of the cylinder. This position of the piston is called the top dead center. Now, on the flywheel, at the indication point, mark this position of the piston as TDC. In this position, the piston is far from the crankshaft. Again, rotate the flywheel and get the piston to the bottom position. This position is bottom dead center. Mark a line on the flywheel at the indication point as BDC. At this position, the piston is near to the crankshaft. Now, by observing this inlet valve through which the fresh charge enters into the combustion chamber, rotate the flywheel in the clockwise direction and bring it to the position where the inlet valve is ready to open. At this position, the piston will be after the TDC. Now, Mark this position of the piston as I, V, O on the circumference of the flywheel at the indication point. Measure the distance between I, V, O and T, D, C and note down the reading in the table. The movement of the inlet and exhaust valves is regulated by the camshaft. The camshaft has two cams mounted on it. This camshaft is connected to the crankshaft. Now, by rotating the flywheel in the clockwise direction, open the inlet valve completely and then bring it back to the position where it completely closes. At this position, the piston is just above BDC. This position of the piston is due to the inertia of the incoming charge. Mark this position as I, V, C. On the circumference of the flywheel at the indication point. Measure the distance between IVC and TDC and tabulate it. This is the magneto ignition system. It is a special type of ignition system with its own electrical generator to provide the necessary energy for the system. A magnet when rotated by the engine is capable of producing a very high voltage and does not need a battery as a source of external energy. Now rotate the flywheel in the clockwise direction such that the ignition coil gets contact with the magnet where the ignition takes place. At this position both the valves will be closed and also the magneto ignition system will be invisible if we observe from the side of the flywheel. Mark this position as IGN on the circumference of the flywheel at the indication point. Measure the distance between TDC and IGN and note down this measurement in the table. Now by observing the exhaust valve through which the combustion product leave the combustion chamber,
rotate the flywheel in the clockwise direction such that the exhaust valve starts to open. At this position of the flywheel, the piston is just above BDC. Mark a line on the circumference of flywheel as EVO at the indication point. Measure the distance between BDC and EVO. Then note down the above observed reading into the observation table. Now rotate the flywheel in the clockwise direction till the exhaust valve closes completely. In this position the piston is just below TDC. Mark a line on the flywheel as EVC. Measure the distance between EVC and TDC. Note down the EBO reading in the table. By the EBO readings, we can draw the valve timing diagram.